Right then, what's happening, guys? So as per Fabrizio Romano, Nottingham Forest are closing in on the signing of Arsenal fullback Nuno Tavares. Now, most of you will remember him as the bloke who got taken to the cleaners by Jed Spence and Brennan Johnson in an FA Cup tie at the city ground a couple of years ago, before getting substituted in the first half and throwing a tantrum. I, on the other hand, always associate him with a viral video in which he French kissed his dog, which was incredibly fucked up and not something I intend to display on here. So it's quite clear he's starting off on the wrong foot, even though evidence may suggest otherwise there's actually a player in there, and he's just come off a hugely successful loan spell at Marseille, which turned out to be the best season of his career thus far by a country mile. Because, truth be told, he didn't exactly set the world alight when he was at Benfica. In fact, he was often playing second fiddle to Alex Grimaldo, who now finds himself at Leverkusen, and it came as a huge shock to everyone in Portuguese football that Arsenal decided to snap him up. At the Emirates, supporters got to see the good, the bad, and the outright fucking ugly from Tavares. He was signed as cover for Kieran Tierney and sent packing due to the arrival of Zinchenko. In between, he showcased glimpses of his fast, powerful, and all-action style. The physicality of English football never faced him due to his athleticism, and when you couple that with technical proficiency and an ability to change speed and direction at will, you've got someone who gives the coaching staff a lot to work with. His dynamic and forward-driven runs which were brimming with energy and aggression saw him register a goal every five games for Marseille, and that's no mean feat for a player in his position. If you look at the graphic on screen, Tavares ranked amongst the highest in Europe's top 5 leagues when it comes to non-penalty goals, progressive carries, take-ons, and passes. Defensively, however, he left a lot to be desired, and that's where Cooper will have his work cut out. Unlike most of his peers, Tavares, while primarily a left-back, is also more than capable of being utilized on the wing as well as the opposite flank if asked of him, which is an added bonus should an injury crisis happen in defense. That being said, his decision making is all over the bloody place. He's unpredictable to the point where even he hasn't got a clue what his next move is going to be, and that can lead to both the spectacular as well as ridiculous. It's almost like his legs act first and brain second. Defensive frailties, positional mistakes, and lapses of concentration led to him being regularly substituted at halftime during games by Arteta, and one can only hope his time in France has made him better prepared for the demands of the Premier League. If you could pinpoint a single match to sum up Tavares' career, then Marseille's 2-1 victory over Montpellier in January of this year would be it. He opened the scoring at the beginning of the second half, gave away a penalty after deliberately kicking the shit out of his opponent, lost his marbles when the referee pointed to the spot, and was consequently sent off as his side clinged on for dear life to get three points. Overall, the jury's still out, but one thing you can guarantee is that there won't be a dull moment. So enjoy the ride. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and check out my Nottingham Forest playlist, and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.